if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith and grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's morning, good God's morning, good God's morning, good God's morning. All right, beloved, good guys, morning to you. I pray all is well with you on this fine Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God, everybody. Good guys, morning to you. Good morning, everybody. I say good morning, First Lady. Good morning, Sister Easley. Good morning, uh, Victoria Sanders, good morning, Minister Little. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good guys, morning to all of you again. I pray all is well with you this morning on this fine Tuesday because it's another day, y'all, that the Lord has made and we will, we shall, we are going to, that's right, sorry, we're going to uh, rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I'm sorry, y'all. I was uh, trying to take care of some early morning business, but thank you for waiting for me, and thank you for uh, being on and being patient with me this morning. So good guys morning, Keisha. Good guys morning again. Listen, let's get our scripture for this Tuesday morning. Our scripture this morning. Hold on a second. Let me pull it up for you. Our scripture this morning, beloved, is going to be coming from Isaiah. Yeah. All right. Isaiah. All right. Here we go. Isaiah. Ta da. <laughs> All right. Good guys morning. Isaiah 40, verses 28. Isaiah 40, verse 28. Okay. It says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow weary, grow tired or weary. And his understanding no one can fathom. Let me say that again. Do you not do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding no one can fathom. This is why I tell you, you gotta you have it is a a, a, a must, beloved. That we hear God and take him at his word and trust what uh, <laughs> I did, honey. And trust what uh, he says and where he leads us and where he guides us. You know, only God knows your future. Let me, let me tell you that. Wait, wait, rewind. God and the devil knows your future, okay? Yeah, God and the devil knows your future. But God knows you, the hope and to give you the future and the expected end. The devil just wants to kill, steal, and destroy from you so that you won't get what, you, what, what the expected end is, okay? And so we must understand that unless... God shows someone or tells someone, and when he tells or shows someone, it should be confirmation to you about whatever God has already said to you concerning you. It should not be just go over your head, be off the wall. No, it should be confirmation. And if God knows and, and sees and knows your future, it is in him that you are to trust and it is in him that you are to allow to lead you and guide you into into the next, 
Okay? Because even though some things may end, that's not the end of you. That's not the end of your story. There is a next. He always has a next. There's a next chapter. There's a next. There's a next, 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 next. There's a next. Okay? And so understand, beloved, that when we consult with God and God reveals to us what it is that he wants us to do, sometimes we may not understand it. This, this, is, this is it right here. Sometimes we may not understand it. Sometimes we may go tired and we may grow weary in before we get to the end or before we get to the next. In itself, this is why we must rely, trust, lean, lay <laughs> on God. Put our faith, hope, trust, all of that in God. Because scripture says he will not grow tired. He will not grow weary. And his understanding, you cannot fathom it, but you got to trust him. Beloved, some of us are going through some things now. We don't understand. We're growing tired. We're growing weary. But you got to understand God isn't tired. He isn't weary. And it's, and it's okay that you're tired. It's okay that you're weary. It's, that is the time that you got to rely on God the most. That is the time, even if you don't understand it right now, that is the time when you got to lean on his understanding and not yours. You got to trust his perfect will for your life and not always think you know it all that you know oh oh i got it all together no beloved rest rely trust on god rest rely trust in god you hear me rest rely trust in god put that in the comments rest rely trust in god all right god knows what's best his perfect will is what's best for your life. So trust him. Rest. Go to sleep at night. Get some rest. Stop worrying about it. Rely on him. Rest, rely, trust in God. Trust him. He got it all together. I promise you. Okay? We may not understand it, but he got it all together. All right? He is the everlasting father. And it's funny that the scripture says, have you not heard? Do you not know? Did you forget? Did you forget who God is? Did you forget? Did you not hear? I know you heard me say it. So come on now. Remember this. Get this back. Get, come on. Bring it back to your forefront. I'm going to rest in God. I'm going to rely on him. And I'm going to trust in God. Rest, rely, and trust in God. Period. Everything else? Mm -mm. I don't understand it, but I know God got it under, under control because he wouldn't bring me this far to leave me. He wouldn't do this for me and it not be what is in his perfect will. Everything has a plan. This is what you got to say. This is what you got to say. This is how you got to respond to the things that you don't understand. Everything it is a part of his plan. All things are working together. That's the word. All things are working together for the good. And, and the good of them that love the Lord. And I love the Lord. So I know this is all working for my good. Even though I don't understand it. Even though I'm getting tired. Even though I'm getting weary. And let's be, let's be honest, beloved. Some people want to say, well, I never get tired. I never get weary. I never get aggravated. I never get frustrated. I never, you know, be, be, be worrying. I never, you know, I never just do all that. Yeah, you do. Stop storing. You get tired. You get weary, you get frustrated, you get aggravated, you 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 trying to figure out what God is doing because to you it doesn't make sense. It's not going to make sense. His wisdom is far beyond ours. His knowledge is whoo, good God Almighty. And what he does, many people may not understand it. But if you trust him, and you trust him enough to know that it's working for your good, he's connecting the dots. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Rest, rely, trust in God. You hear me? It's working. It's working. Say that to yourself. It's working. Come on. Say it. It's working. It's working. I don't understand it, but God, I trust you. Woo! I'm getting tired, but God, I, I'm relying on you. Woo! God! Mm, mm, mm. I, I don't know what you're doing, but woo. <sighs> I'm going to get some sleep at night.
I'm not going to let this issue bother me. I'm not going to let this issue push, put me in a place where the devil can have a field day with me. I am just going to relax. I'm going to rest. I'm going to rely on God. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to pray about it. And that's just going to I'm going to leave it at his feet. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you today for life, health, and strength. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to come together and to commune with you and our fellow brothers and sisters. Father, we thank you for this word that came from Isaiah 40 and 28. And God, just, just remind us that we have know, we've heard that you are the all-wise, all-knowing God. Nothing catches you by, by surprise. You're the creator of the ends of the earth. And if you're the creator of everything, then why not trust in the creator? Father, we thank you, O oh God, for, for you are not growing weary. You're not growing tired. And your understanding is far beyond ours. For God, you know what's best for us. And all we can do is rest, rely, and trust in you knowing that you've got all things under control. We thank you this morning for everything that you're doing, even though it's, it's we, we don't understand it, but we know that it's working for our good. Even though we're getting tired, God, we know that you never, you never get tired. You never sleep, no slumber. And so, God, we're going to put that burden on off of us and put it onto you, knowing that you care for us. And, God, you won't leave us alone. We give you glory today. Bless everyone that's on this morning. Bless everyone that will come on later. And God bless everyone that's probably been on this morning. God, that they too rest, rely, and trust in you. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor for it. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen. Amen. And amen. Good God's morning to you. Good morning. Y'all say good morning to the first lady. Good morning, Sister Easley. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Minister Little. Good morning, Kanita. Good God's morning, Victoria. Good God's morning, Sister Woods. Good God's morning. Good God's morning, everybody. I think I got everybody. Again, if I didn't say good morning to you, it's because I can't see you. So make sure you say good morning. And I'll be sure to, to uh, say good morning back, okay? All right. Well, good God's morning to you. Y'all have a blessing and a beautiful Tuesday. And remember, rest, rely, and trust in God. All right? Well, good God's morning to you. We'll see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place, for another good God's morning moment. All right, beloved, good God's morning to you. We'll see y'all tomorrow. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you your day If you want to build your faith, your faith Grow in God's grace, God's grace To have a better connection with Jesus Christ So tune in to Good God's Morning 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 Good God's